Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back for another card review. So today we have a very special card review because I am here with... Keith. Alright, so... Damn! Today's card review is probably going to be a little bit special. Not because that there is a guest here, but mainly because we are talking about Virtual Rebirth, Gods of Babylonians. So, Babylonians, how long ago were they in the meta? 8 seal. 8 seal, During that's... the 8 seal era. Yeah, that's like 2015. 2015 man and other than that they got their PR they were decent for about a month or two then they fell out of the meta again so we haven't really heard from them since and let's face it they were trash up to this point yeah so they have gone through a major major revamp through uh, this virtual rebirth right so first and foremost as you can see on the screen right now there is the five artwork of the divergent forms of the babylonian gods yes and of course we're going to talk about the divergent skills first and then after that we're going to move on to the refinement skills um, of the babylonian gods yeah. so frankly speaking the refinement is where the real juicy information is that if you ask me because usually we will use the refinement form as leaders right i mean like divergent forms looking at the trend of a like, of all the virtual rebirths, we don't, we won't really use them for a leader. Yeah, unless, most like, of the time. Yeah. Right. And so let's get, let's let's get started for the diversion skills for the Babylonian gods. All right. So what you can see here on the screen right now will be Atrahasis divergent form. Right. So we're just gonna touch on Atrahasis because the other four attributes is basically the same skill, uh, in terms of leader skill and active skill. Right. So we're just gonna look at Atrahasis uh, alone. Alright, so for the leader skill, Heavenly Grace Waves, water attack times 3.5, so just a little bit better than before. I think it was water attack times 3 prior. And yeah, for I every it's 3. Yeah, and for every group of 3 or more runestones dissolved in a row, row, not column, row, uh, water god runestones will be generated. So only first batch of runestones dissolved will be countered. Sadly, no stacking or any sky drops or whatsoever, so no Orochi for you. But the interesting thing here is dissolve in a row. Yeah, so they kind of incorporated uh, the rose, rose kind of gameplay into the divergent form of Babylonian gods. Mm. So in my opinion, I feel that the divergent gods here, although with an increased multiplier of 3.5 compared to 3 for the power release form, is still not that high of a multiplier. Mm. Right? So usually uh, when a card that is supposed to be a leader gets a virtual rebirth, their divergent form is usually meant to be as a member instead of a leader. Yes. So let's take a look at actually has his active skill uh, which explodes the column of runestones below the monster to generate enchanted water and enchanted heart runestones if the neighboring members are also water gods the skill applies to them right so i feel that babylonian gods came came in at the right time right? especially with all the hindu gods in in the in the meta and stuff like that people are usually running mono uh, gods and stuff like that. Yep. So for Atreasis, for the Divergent form, I believe it's going to be a very good addition to probably uh, what, what Shiva. That? Shiva. Yes. And of course for you know uh, Ninota and um, the rest will be applicable to the, the rest of the Hindu gods as well. Yep. So uh, as you can see, for the active skill, it is best used as a member right, because it applies to neighboring members right so if you use it as a leader or ally you are basically going to affect one the, yeah one side which is not that ideal right so overall divergent form enough said is just meant for a member right, unless you're you're trying to do some like funky kind of setup right maybe for those old ultimate stage like uh, maybe Odin ultimate stage or maybe like the Lunar or Solar Series ultimate stage you want to have some fun with the stage then <laughs> you can use Divergent you know uh, Babylonian Gods for to, to clear the stage yep alright so we're just gonna move on to the more juicy news which is the refinement this is the real Babylonian Gods virtual rebirth yes right so let's talk about his the leader skill first right so for this news came out today right so the English translation is not out yet so basically we're just gonna use the stock footage or the stock image from the Chinese um, website and then I'm just gonna basically translate this for you yep so over here we can see that there's Atrahasis and uh, Namta Namta oh my god Namta <laughs> Namta yes best artwork ever no the <laughs> the whole dancing Namta is the best <laughs> alright so we have VR Babylonian Gods refinement version, right? So let's take a look at this leader skill. So basically, self attribute attack times 4.5. So you have a massive jump from 
3 to 4.5 3 to 4.5 That's huge actually Yeah but because they fell off meta so long So there's there's a mask to increase it this much Okay right, So 4.5 is like current meta standard mm-hmm. So on top of that When you dissolve a group of 4 more uh, Under a column at first batch 1 god runes of respective attribute Will be generated under the column right, So what you can see here As I kind of predicted before VR Babylonians came out Where right, they're going to incorporate All these god runes and stuff like that Once again Alright so uh, I'm, I'm not surprised right here Right, so we're going to move on to the active skill of the Babylonian gods. Alright, so this is one of the... Uh, this is not the best part yet. Right, so we're going <laughs> to talk about the active skill for VR Babylonian gods refinement version. Right, so for that, we have CD10. Right, the active skill is number one, as, as you can see, effect number one there is 10 seconds of time tunnel. Yes. Right, so time tunnel is greatly favoured here, I would say. Yeah, I mean... Let's not let's not look about let's not look at it in just the sense that you're using it for a leader. Like imagine if you use it as a team member for any other team out there. This is effectively making an entire series into Tati. So like you can have like time tunnels for different attributes now and we're not gonna talk about how much time tunnel water attribute has, we're just gonna talk about the rest. Yeah, it, it kind of like open open to many Time tunnel cards in the future, right? Yes. So now having one whole series that has time tunnel, right? Basically every single attribute now has have a time tunnel card, right? Uh, of course this will be God race, but for any other race, you probably have to look for alternative. For example, dark we have Tati, mm. water we have the uh, gluttonous so slime and, and stuff like we that. We have a lot in water. Y- yes, yes, water have one. a lot of uh, refire. Yeah, refire. so we can kind of with, with this out, I would say that. Ninata will permanently replace Scoot. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like Scoot, you you were not good from the start. So. Scoot Scoot was good at, at one point of time, right? But it's uh eight second free movement compared to ten second time tunnel right here. Yes. Right. So other than ten second time tunnel, we have one round by dissolving a group of six or more runes of self attribute, respective attribute times two. Right. So this will pretty much be triggered for. Babylonians because once that huge chunk of sky drop comes down, there's definitely more than six runes of self attribute. Right, so overall, I find that this revamp for active skill is pretty useful. Right, back then, I think the power release version is actually extended room movement time, right? Yes, and there was something about the room placing as well, which kind of fixed the problem for Babylonians having the. Um, it basically liberated Babylonians from the trouble of like you know the three rune stones and they get no bo- bonus kind of thing. Yes. So now we see this and it basically covers any mistakes that Babylonians had in the past But as Aaron mentioned before, that isn't the juicy part I am proud to present to you guys the team, the team skills. skills of Let's Babylonians take Let's take a look God at the team God damn it man <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it is all in Chinese so I will be translating it for you But I love playing Babylonians, I love it but they have a lot of problems last time like burning spots, burning trails, sticky runes and the cross burning thing, the cross burning runes right. So now the refinement team skill is number one, when a group of more than five runes are dissolved under the column of first batch, two runes of respective attribute will be generated under the column. So uh, but the sad thing is like active skills of PR, Belzebub and Mastima cannot be activated. Yeah because they're kind of like the same thing right. Yeah. So, they overlap, actually. Yeah, so on top of that, remembering that the leader skill actually drops one extra god rune as well. Yes. So that is kind of like extra sky runes. Drop. Yeah, extra sky drop for you there. So that's just the start of the team skill, right? So yes. team skill number two, we have when there are two, uh, when there are more than two columns with four or more runes dissolved. At first batch, team attack increase additionally to the max times 1.5 times. Right, so this is what I've been talking about before this came out once again. <laughs> right, so I would love to see NOS have this kind of uh, conditional multiplier as well mm-hmm. once they get a revamp and stuff like that. Right, so what, what I would like is Babylonian Gods to have a fixed multiplier and when you do certain things uh, during the play, during your, your play, um, play through for the battle, Right, you kind of trigger more multiplier. Right, mm. so this extra one point five times when you do two or more columns, right, this will give you additional multiplier. Right, that will definitely help in the long run. Yes, but the third, the third number three, the team skill is like nothing much. It's just additional rune stone movement of plus two seconds. But here's where the real good stuff happens. Right, so team skill number four. God, ignore burning, ignores burning. 
just think about it. Ignores burning. It means it ignores burning trail, burn lock, burn wall, the cross burning, and burn fungus. Except in front yeah, of me. Burn, burn fungus is the one that kind of expand as the as the round goes on. Yes. Right, so we are totally going to ignore all this. And then of course, this will uh, pretty much ex exclude the hellfire from the void realm. Right? Yes. The void realm that kind of one hit kills you. Right, that is excluded. Right, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't appear very often. Right, so when we're talking about burn wounds, it's just those normal burn wounds that we see in those daily battles and stuff like that. Yep. Right, and on top of that, it ignores sticky wound as well. Right, so we finally. All, <laughs> oh my god! We have this issue with sticky runes for Babylonians. I remember spinning myself uh, with Lucy for the Crash uh, Monster Strike series. Right, going through the the sticky runes and stuff like that. It was a nightmare. Right, so they finally fix it. I believe this is one of the the, the biggest uh, um, things they fix for Babylonian gods. Yes, I would say that Mehe is actually really bold with this VR. Like they basically turn. If you look at it in the VR trend. Initially, when VR first started, it came out with NOS. The diversion was really crappy, frankly speaking. Yeah, it, it was basically just a pure did nothing. Yeah, it was just a huge converter for like what CD seven or eight, and it basically did nothing except have better art. But other than that, you can see that they are slowly moving on. You know, the refined form of um, Chinese gods were not that great as well. But when we came to Greeks, VR Greeks, their diversion form was more like a power beat down, so it kind of resembled NOS a little bit more. But now we see this with Babylonians. They introduce a whole new playstyle to the series, which is very, very, very interesting and creative of Mehit to do so, if you ask me. And if you're wondering what the other huge column is, it's just basically a condition of having a seven star VR Babylonian gods of the same leader and like so. Yeah. Yeah, I also want to touch a bit of uh, team skill number four. Right, so uh, notice that uh, we are still being locked down by electrifying runes, hmm. right? So, uh, with that, we will probably have to bring in like a board clear, maybe like uh, Egyptian gods and stuff like that to counter yep. electrifying runes, right? So that shouldn't be a problem. But uh, the biggest problem has been solved for us, which is burning runes as well as sticky runes for yes. Babylonian gods playstyle, right? So overall, I find that this whole uh, Babylonian VR is very, very well done, right? Uh, really really have to thank Madhead for reviving Babylonian gods properly yes. right, so that it will last in the meta for a while so I will be releasing the VR videos once they once the patch drops right, which is next Monday and I'll be doing all five so you can take a look uh, and take have some reference for the VR videos on my channel mm. right, so so far this will be all the news for the uh, virtual rebirth Babylonian gods, right? So those of you who have dupes, right? So I highly encourage you guys to just keep it first, bookmark it, be sure to not lose your cards. Yes. So this is one of the series that is good to have dupes, uh, dupe VR. Yeah, regularly right? speaking, so you, it's really great. You can have one refinement in your team as leader, and then you have a divergent as a member. Like, kind of like how they yes. kind of feature Yancy as well as Norse Gods. That's why I remember Norse God have the refinement version um, as a leader and then the divergent as an ally. Uh, ally sorry. Member. Right so uh, yeah so if you have dub two Babylonians that would be great. Yeah right. frankly speaking I will, I will really use the horners this time instead of the tubes. Yeah we will we'll burn a lot of horners for this particular virtual rebirth. Right, so overall this is going to be card review for the Babylonian Gods virtual rebirth. Right, so if you enjoy this video, do give it a like and then as usual, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.